The story behind that one was Green Day's managers, Jeff and Elliot, got a record company out of managing Green Day. So they had the dance hall crashers, and they had us, maybe someone else. I didn't know this at the time, but it was in print through MCA. They, uh, everyone wanted new Green Day music after Dookie. And the yeah. only thing I think that there was was a cover song of a kink song, maybe, that was on a soundtrack for some movie. Okay. And the movie was not coming out for a few months, and the soundtrack was not coming out for a few months. But Jeff and Elliot, unbeknownst to us, this is before we got signed, they had the dance hall crashers, and they went to K-Rock, who at this point ruled the world. Like if uh, yeah. if they played a song in K-Rock, it got national. I remember those days. So I was little. I want to say the movie was called Angus. I don't know. But they were like, hey, we'll give you Green Day's new single early if you'll play whatever our band is their single yeah problem is they started playing this green day single and the soundtrack wasn't even printed up or ready for release for months oh shit so they fucking torpedoed the soundtrack because by the time the soundtrack came out that single had done its thing green day had no idea about this they were livid they fired these guys they still had their label but by the time our record came out k-rock and all these other stations were like you're on 510 like fuck you guys! Like you know, we were we were part of this. No way. We had no idea, but it, we got offered the deal in December of '95. It's fucking Christmas time. Yeah, it's the yeah. only deal you're taking. That deal. Yeah, you're taking. Does that not deal. matter. You're we didn't it. know that we just signed on to like the most hated people in showbiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we were we were dead out of the fucking gates. So you didn't even have a chance. I mean, no. because of all the bad blood. No, and then there was an, a new guy took over at MCA, and he kept, he actually kept Dance Hall Crashers because they'd sold some records. And he was just like, I don't even know. These fucking guys are paying the ass, Jeff and Elliot. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't care about this sucker punch. But, you know, just whatever. It's like you, you buy a new house, you don't want the old furniture. Yeah, of course. So we, we got dropped. 